Hi everyone, this is Miss Stacy from the Youth Services Department of the Fayetteville Public Library and this is a teen program DIY Sunburst Clothespin Photo Frame. If you've registered for this program then your kit has been available at the Fayetteville Public Library to pick up and I hope you have it with you now. Let's get started. As you can see, I've already made one example of this craft over my shoulder. This is the metallic gold one that I made in preparation. It's a bit larger. Um, I have this sheet of cardboard. These are the inserts that come with the new books. And so what I'm gonna do today is make a smaller version of this for my office. And that's one thing that I recommend you do right away is figure out the space you wanna hang your craft. And then once you figure out what space it will occupy, you can determine how large you should make it. So today's is gonna to be smaller for my office and I have the larger version behind me. You have enough clothespins for the larger version so you can make it as large as you want. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw out my general shape and I want to do a circle. You can trace something round if that's easier, if you want it perfect. And then also another consideration is to determine how wide you want your circle to be. For example, with this model back there, you can see that the frame is larger than the clothespin, so you can see the inside of the cardboard that's been painted. I think for this version, I'm gonna make it so that the clothespin overlaps on both sides. So a little thinner, we'll see how that works out. And that's a good start. So now I'm gonna use scissors. I've got actual cardboard scissors. Um, we're gonna see how that works. But I cut that version over there with just regular scissors. So if you have regular scissors, that works too. So you can see that I kind of went off my lines a little bit. I cut wrong first thing, so that's okay. You can just wing it and make the shape that works for the cuts that you've made. It's kind of inelegant to cut cardboard. It, um, it's hard to make it look great, but that's okay. We're gonna cover it with clothespins and paint and it'll look fine. Um, I'm gonna give you two pieces of cardboard for this, um, just in case it goes wrong. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the hole out of the center. Just poke through. Yeah, I started with cutting just like a T across shape in there. And then I'm gonna cut those flaps again. Make it just easier. So you can see now my hole's a little bigger. And I'm gonna just trim up those edges and cut inside the cuts I've already made. You can always go bigger with your hole, but you can't add cardboard back. So we kind of have a rudimentary hole, but I'm gonna work on it and make it smoother. I'm gonna check the measurement and make sure that my clothespin kind of hangs over on both sides. I think that that serves to um, kind of soften those rough edges. All right. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It looks better on one side than the other. This side's a little bit rougher. But so I'm gonna take the smooth side and that's what I'm gonna make my top side. The next thing we want to do is lay out our clothespins in the pattern that we want them to be in. So this is just kind of determining um, the spacing of your clothespins and how you want your eventual product to look. Be sure to face the clothespins so that the clippy part where you're going to insert your photos is on the outside. So 
since I'm making a smaller circle, uh, I won't use as many clothespins as I did on the larger circle back there. But that's okay. You can just use whatever you think looks nice. All right, I think I've got it in the shape that I want it. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is take my paintbrush and my glue, and I'm gonna glue down the, the clothespins. So I take a clothespin, dip my brush in my glue, and I'm gonna just saturate one edge with glue. And then we're gonna reuse this paintbrush with the paint so it's important that we rinse it right away when we're done. All right, and right away they stick pretty well. You can see how that turned out. And I'm gonna rinse my glue, my paintbrush of glue, and I'll be right back. I've got my paintbrush all rinsed off. I've got my metallic paint, and I've got my sunburst photo frame holder. I used the extra pieces of cardboard that I, I had cut off of the shape to lay down under my um, craft so that I don't get paint everywhere. And now we're gonna do a layer of paint. Okay, I've got my first coat of paint on. It's looking pretty nice, and I'm gonna let it set for a few hours. I'm gonna rinse my paintbrush so that I'll be able to use it again, and in a few hours, I'll come back and check on it and see if it needs a second coat. So it's been a couple hours since I did the first coat of paint, and it looks like that looks, looks pretty good. But now I'm just gonna go back through and touch it up some more. One thing that you wanna do before it dries all the way is kinda of just push on your clothespins to make sure that they're still able to operate because if the paint dries too much, uh, they, they'll be stuck closed. So just before it's totally dry, go through and push on your clothespins and make sure that they actually function. and mine are all good. So you can uh, give it a look over and see if there's any, any spots you missed or anything. Uh, maybe you want a second coat just because you like the way it looks, you can do that. And uh, you have your DIY sunburst clothespin photo frame. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.